What is going on guys? Grave here today and I'll talk about the Weapon Bloom in Battlefield 2042. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, uh, Empire Jerky, where you can use code GRAVE at checkout to save 5% off, and also Amazon Associates. This is where I link a lot of stuff I use every day for YouTube videos, things I use every day when gaming, some items you might be interested in. Also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate it if you go ahead and hit that sub button. Now when it comes to Weapon Bloom, this has been a big issue uh, this year, uh, kind of the end of the year when all the shooters have been revealed, because Call of Duty Vanguard and Battlefield 2042 both have Weapon Bloom. And as you all know, I've been a big fan of both games, I've played them all over the years, so I've been playing Battlefield and Call of Duty for 15 and 20 years now. So Weapon Bloom is something that I think a lot of people uh, did not realize was in the game, they thought their bullets were just not registering correctly. But it's actually a true fire mechanic. So when you're firing your weapon, it's actually blooming in certain areas to where some of these bullets are going to be missing. A lot of people consider this to be kind of an RNG thing, and it is because some of those bullets are going to be random. Some of those bullets are not going to hit in the correct uh, area. So there will be two or three shots that you fire that are definitely going to be off target. One thing that helps with both games, of course, in Battlefield and Call of Duty with Weapon Bloom is going to be, you know, using uh, a burst fire kind of mechanic. That is definitely a more of a thing in Battlefield, in my opinion. It's always been a thing in Battlefield to burst fire your weapon, no matter really what range you're at. That's the easiest way to get consistent kills, in my opinion, in Battlefield. Of course, Battlefield also usually has that mechanic, you know, if you're moving while firing, you have that little bit of a penalty. This year, we do have some attachments in Battlefield 2042 that help with that. Some of the, uh, you know, grips and things will say, you know, this grip is made for, you know, firing on the move. Some of those grips are made for firing while standing still. So you definitely need to look into what attachment you're using, but just realize that some of your bullets are not going to always be kind of in that area or always be located exactly where you're shooting, even if you're burst firing because of this bloom mechanic. Now, this is something I think DICE uh, has really acknowledged pretty quickly. They said they're looking into why some of the bullet registration is not working correctly. Now, I'm not sure if this is something that they can get rid of completely. I talked about this in a Call of Duty Vanguard video I made about Weapon Bloom. I'm not sure if either one of these companies can get rid of it completely or if it's something they can tone down. If it's something they can go in, and I'm assuming they can adjust the bloom on each, indiv uh, each individual weapon to a certain point. But I'm not sure if it's something that's you know coded so deep into the game they can completely remove it. Honestly, I wish games did not do this. In my opinion, it makes the skill gap uh, really not there. I mean, yes, there still is a skill gap there. Some players are going to have better aim than others. But for an example, if you have a really good aim uh, and you're hitting you know 95 or let's just say 90 to 100 percent of your shots consistently with this weapon bloom, that's going to knock that percentage down some just because of that random kind of bullet variation. So in my opinion, it does kind of decrease the skill gap. I'm not sure if you know both of these companies are doing this on purpose to kind of help out new players to make them feel like they're not just getting destroyed against players that are veterans, players that have played these games for a long time, players that are really good at shooters, or if there's actual uh, you know an actual reason they have decided to do this. But overall, hopefully, you know, now that Dice has you know said and, and kind of come out and said that there is a issue they understand you know that people are not really enjoying this mechanic in game hopefully we'll get some kind of adjustment to it i'd also like to see some of these weapon spreads i need to go out and in the game and go into a bot match and just do some testing and see if i can figure out some of these spreads because i've noticed sometimes when i'm hip firing players that the hip fire uh, accuracy on these guns are absolutely awful the bloom is just all over the place but i also no noticed it when ads i've had some you know close shots before have my weapon in single fire and be trying to fire at an enemy and it's like one bullet will hit on them the next two or three won't even be close and you really haven't moved off that target and the distance hasn't changed so it's definitely something that needs to be addressed and in my opinion it needs to be addressed in both games that's why i made a, a video talking about it in call of duty vanguard that's why i made a video talking about it here in battlefield 2042 because if you enjoy both games you know you lo love to play shooters you're like myself you play both every year year in and year out uh, it's something that like i said is kind of it's kind of disappointing to see in game because you know you want to be if you're like myself you try to enjoy a game but also you know you try to be you know get good at it as you can i guess you don't want to you know go in here and just get destroyed every round so you always try to improve and it's hard to improve when you have something like weapon bloom just because you know it, it kind of throws you off in some gunfights some some gunfights you should win sometimes you're not always going to win every fight but sometimes there is fights that you should definitely win and the weapon bloom can definitely 
uh, cause a issue there and you losing that gunfight. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you'd like to hit the like, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.